Hey everyone, so here I'm going to cover how to add a colored background to either the section of an index or a normal page on Squarespace. And here I'm also focusing on the Brian family. Um, so let's get started. We're going to start with the index page and the introduction section here. As you can see, I already have an image banner but we'd like to add some color to that section. So here, since it's an index and we're going to target that specific section, I'm going to go to the custom CSS area to add that code. But first we need to get the URL slug. So the URL slug you get from clicking on the icon there and you scroll down in the basic tab and you copy that you're all like, let's go to the design tab here, scroll down to custom CSS. And just since it's a section in the Brian template family, the best way to target that is just to add a pound sign, copy that you're all like that we got, open brackets, which is a CSS way to indicate that you're going to add styling to that section. Add background color. For now, I'm just going to put gray to simplify things, but there are other ways to find colors. Indicate in CSS. That I'll probably cover on the blog post. And now we're going to save and we can see that it works. Now, you can do that for any other index section. So let's just add a new section. Let's call it services or editing. And for now, I'm not going to add any text because we're just looking at the colors. And again, we're going to go to that little icon, scroll down, pick services, the slide. Usually you want it to be a bit more explicit on what it is. So services, and as we did before, we go to the design tab, get to custom CSS, and let's say, you know, we want the background to be black. Fully making it up. <laughs> uh, background color. And now it's black background. Now you have to remember that, you know, the styles that you add for your font will not change unless you tell them to change. So of course here, if I put a black background, no one's going to see my font color because it's black. So maybe let's do pink if it works. Yeah. Okay. Save. And that's pretty much how you can change background colors for sections of index pages, but it's quite different for a normal page. So let's click on the about page. And here, what we're going to have to do is actually not get the URL slide, but look into developer tools, which is basically looking at all the code on the page and telling you what elements are what and elements are just all the things on the page. So I'm using Chrome and on Chrome, those three dots open up. You do more tools, developer tools. And here you get all the code that's on the page. Now we just want to select the body, like the, the main part of that page. So we're going to go on that little arrow here and hover until we find that section. And we're going to double click, copy this class, and go here on that little icon. And basically, we're doing this not in the custom CSS area because all the other pages that we're going to create will have that section class main content. And we don't want to affect all the pages, we only want to affect that about page. 
And here we need to tell the browser, let me close this for now. We need to tell the browser that it is going to be styling custom CSS. So I this those brackets, style brackets. And since it's a class, usually you indicate that it's a class with a dot and paste that main content class, open the bracket, and add, like we did before, background, color, gray, save. And we have the color background. Now, if you wanted to add different colors, right now I just kind of made up the colors, but you can go to hex colors. I use multiple websites for this, but this one is kind of cool because you can see them as cards, I guess. And just copy that, you know, and go back to that tab, advanced, and change the gray into that hex code. And there you go. So you can play around with that a lot. Um, just remember that you want to only target that one page. And if you want to target all the pages, you go to design, custom CSS, and add the background color here. Now, one last trick that um, I learned through, I guess, working with code is that sometimes people don't want to deal with custom CSS. So if I erase this and go back to the index page, this trick will only work for index pages. Uh, page, home. And so we can add a colored banner, basically. So you basically take a picture of whatever color you want. I'm taking a screenshot right now. Um, I'm going to give it a name. So that's the screenshot color. I'm gonna call it my Harrington. And so when I go back to that banner, I click, I add an image, and I take the my Harrington image. It's gonna upload, save. And as you can see now, it has that color. Sorry, the page is weird. Um, it now has that color. So that's another trick. It won't work for normal pages because you can't add banners to normal pages on Squarespace, unfortunately. But it will work for index pages. So if all of your pages are index pages, you can do that. Hope that helped. Please leave me any comments or questions that you have about this video and any other videos that you want me to film.